All right, hi guys, Ryan back again. Uh, it's up here in Sandusky, driving, looking at a couple trucks today. Uh, so I never, never got to do a video on driving a 13 speed. So uh, we're driving one today and Sophia came with me. So it makes it a little bit easier to do a video when you got somebody in a passenger seat. Uh, so like I said, I'm already cruising down the road right now, but we're gonna give you a little tutorial here on how to drive a 13 uh, if, if you're new to that. All right, guys, so we're here at a light. Um, this is basically a nine speed for the most part. Uh, you got a low, which I, you're rarely gonna use low. Um, then one, two, three, four, which I, I'm bobtailing, I'm just gonna start out in third. And the splitter, obviously when you're in, when you're in low range, the splitter, it, it won't go forward anyways, it locks it out. Um, so we're gonna, once the light turns here, we're gonna take off, we're gonna start out in third, fourth. And the thing you gotta remember when you're, when you're coming from a 10 speed, you gotta remember that that fifth gear isn't down here in the low. So I, I forget that a lot when I go from 10s to a uh, nine speed or a 13 speed. So, and I don't use a clutch either. And I haven't split any of the gears yet because I'm trying to kind of navigate through traffic here, but we're getting ready to get on the on route two here. And I'll kind of show you how that works. I'm gonna get right to fourth. There's fifth. And now we're gonna split these gears. So we're gonna move pre-select, let off the accelerator, and it shifts it. So now we're gonna pre-select go to six low, six high, pre-select, seven low, seven high, pre-select, and there's eight or nine low, and there we're in uh, nine high or 13th, and that's it. And um, Downshifting is pretty much the same thing. We'll slow down a little bit here. So I'm in 13 or nine high. Slow her down a little bit. And keep a little pressure on the throttle, let off. And there we're in nine low again. And we'll go back to 13. And you don't need to use all those gears. I mean, unless you're like on the mountains or something or got a heavy load. I mean, typically you can just drive this as like a nine speed, go straight up to eight, then, then put it into 13th or nine high as an overdrive. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. So pretty simple. This is my favorite transmission. Basically uh, an 18 speed is the same thing. You can just split those lower gears. Um, in my opinion, I mean, unless you don't like heavy haul and stuff, I don't think I'd ever own an 18. A 13 um, is, like I said, a real, a real good transmission, does a good job, good fuel economy, and a lot of versatility with uh, pulling grades and heavy loads. So, so that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, kind of a short video here. So those of you that are coming from a 10 to a 13, I hope that helps you out. Um, like I said, if you're kind of new to manuals, uh, if you're coming from an automatic, you might want to start out with a 10 speed or a straight nine. Um, there are some nine speeds out there that are convertible to a 13 speed. Um, so that's an option as well. If you're looking at a nine speed, I'd ask them if it's a convertible or not. Uh, that way, if you wanted that versatility. But uh, that's pretty much it for this one, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you're new to the channel, we're always putting out uh, trucking videos, truck maintenance, um, all that good stuff. So uh, truck repairs, uh, always looking at doing inspections and all that stuff. So always stay tuned. Um, subscribe if you're not already. Uh, hit the bell for the updates. And as always, uh, like the video. So have a good one, guys. Uh, thanks for the support. We'll talk to you next time. Thank you.